Paul George talks about coming out early during Detroit Pistons game and gave Jaden Ivey some praise. Check out the video. I, I, I just know I can't get that no time soon. So, um, first of all, how you feeling? Good. Uh, what's what, what's the difference between you being able to you know get out there like tonight versus how it's been you know the first few games were terrible when we was dealing with downgrade, game game day status, all that stuff. Uh, I mean just pushing through it. Um, you know I do think over time it'll get better, um, but. At this point, I don't think I'm straddling the line of it getting worse. Um, so, you know, with that being said, good enough uh, to go out there and compete. And is, is it just like the groin injury that you're working with? Or like we've seen that your your knee, the other one, not the one that you hurt last year, but the one that you had served you on, like, is that anything that you're like concerned with? Or is that need daily maintenance? Or, like, yeah, it's just maintenance. It's just maintenance. Um, uh, just, you know, normal wear and tear in a basketball player. Um, so it's just maintenance at this point. It'll get better. Um, just got to stay on rehab and, um, you know, strengthen the knee. And then the groin is just uh, something that I go through, I feel like, throughout my uh, a season. Always, you know, something in my groin kind of acts up. Um, it gets resolved and it's gone for the remainder of the year. So um, it just hit me now. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll pass sooner than later. Finally, we're in Detroit. I know you got to work with Jaden a lot. Um, you, tonight you got to guard him mm -hmm. um, a, quite a bit. Like, he's in year two. What, what, what can you say about how he's developed um, since the first time you got to work out with him and everything? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is for a lot of guys that come to the league, they, they figure out how to shoot in the NBA. Um, it's, it's different, you know with length and obviously the three-point line being a little further out. Um, Jaden has everything else. He can finish, um, he can get to the basket, he can create. Um, he's so quick and explosive. The last part usually comes, it's the three-point shooting. Um, so he'll settle into that. He'll get more comfortable behind the three-point line. Um, but I've been impressed. He's, he's off to a great start. I think he's figured it out, um, how to be productive in this league. Um, he's doing it around a great young core, um, which is great. Gives them opportunity to grow, get better, um, and especially to do it. Hopefully these, the kids, uh, the young guys over there, um, they learn how to play around one another. Um, and Detroit will be a, a, a tough team in a couple more years. Uh, a game to be able to do that in. I'm grateful I can do that I for people. Wearing, wearing shoes or not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jay, we just like you talking to Jaden Ivey, and he just spoke about you too, sharing that moment after the game. Just how, how, how impressed are you with this game so far this second year? Uh, very. Um, you know, Jay and I talked to throughout the year. Um, try to stay in his ear, and um, he's going to be special. Um, he has all the tangibles to do great things in this league. And, uh, he knows, continue working on this game and keep continue working at it, but he's going to be just fine. Uh, Detroit has someone special, so he, he, I'm looking forward to great things for him in the years to come. I mean, that's back-to-back -back games. I mean, last, the other day, they had Donovan Mitchell came up to him. Now you, like, what do you think is that players like yourself and Donovan Mitchell are seeing in him that's when they come up to him and give him some work um, advice in this moment? You know, just being able to compete um, as competitors. You see things and see in, in people that um, allows them to be the best they can be, and I think that's the, the biggest part of it. Me being in this league for a period of time, I'm able to see and see potential. I mean, some guys, and uh, to me, he has it. When you look at, you got nine all star now. I know when we was in Indiana, you talked about, hey, whatever, you can take the silver line of a vacation, but you're not getting one this mm -hmm. space. So, uh, what does that mean to you? What does it mean the fact that everybody who's made nine all star teams has been a Hall of Famer, every single one, mm -hmm. or they're waiting? Mm -hmm. Like, you're in that category now. Like, what does that mean to you? Um, honestly, uh, I've never. You know, obviously, when you want to start playing basketball, um, you don't necessarily think of the possibilities of being in a mention with Hall of Famers and in that category. Um, but, you know, it's, it's going to always be special for me coming from where I came from um, and coming from where I come from. You know, um, I encourage the next generation to be able to get to this level that I've been able to get to. But where I come from, might not happen for a very long time. 
Um, and so I, I cherish that, you know, I cherish uh, what I've overcame, the obstacles, um, not only making it, but being in the league, getting over injuries, um, and, you know, still honestly being favored, favored by God um, to continue and carry on what I do. Fans still enjoying my production. Um, and then you talk about legacy of the next generation looking up to me and, um, you know, me inspiring their game. So um, it's a lot to take in. Um, honestly, I've never, when I go on the court, it's just, you know, how can I be me and be the best version of myself? Um, but then when you look at a whole collection of it, um, it's special to see uh, everything unfolding. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.